Morning everyone, how's everyone doing? We're going to be heading out to the scrapyard. I haven't even got out of the house yet, just walking out with all the gear in my hand and oh, I'll just chuck the camera on, show you what we got. I've got to open the door, just bear with me for a second. I'll put you there, Ooh. on the camera angles. Chuck all my gear in. Phone in the car too. Get this thing started, and we'll show you what we got. <sighs> Low plug it, being a diesel. Right, what we have, it's got two IBC pods on the front. All right, fairly well loaded. They, um, most of this stuff up here is from a shelter that they pulled down from here that's in the front IBC pod here. Um, they were just going to dump it up in their dump point up here in their, in their pile of junk and their, in their tip. I thought, well, instead of them actually putting it up there, they allowed me to put it in here and me go and recycle it as scrap metal. So I had to cut it all up. This was off the roof of it, the corrugated iron. Had to cut them in half um, to actually fit them in the IBC pod. All the steel that was that was part of the framework. Uh, the other piece that's at the back here, the yellow piece, that was a sign on the top of the bloody gate here where an excavator come through and pulled it down. I had to fix that too. So yeah, we got that in there. Uh, a few other bits and pieces. No washing machine bits and pieces in there though. That's strange enough. Uh, we've got three stoves on here, a washer machine carcass with dishwasher uh, racks, that's how we stack them now, got a microwave there, a few washing machine bits and pieces on top, um, we got two yesterday, June and I, got two and pulled all the copper and whatever off the, the motors and that sort of thing, um, we still had a fair few left to pull apart and that sort of thing, those ones there you got to put the grinder through and really cut them apart so you can see the marks where we were actually going through with the grinder and it took us nearly all day to do that I thought no point putting it on camera um because i wanted the um material to take to the scrapyard so anyway we'll get to the yard see how much we're going to weigh i reckon just looking at the tire well we are on a bit of a lean here the down downgrade of the, the uh, ground there just looking at the tyre, I reckon we're getting close to probably 1800 kilos, that's just my guess, because I know in this one here, we've got over 200 kilos of brake pads in there, so I think that was about 250 kilos, that was from a video that we done, I think it was last week or so, or I'm not sure, can't remember, but it might be two weeks ago or whatever, but anyway, we've got a whole heap of lights in there as well. But yeah, we'll get to the scrapyard, find out how much we're going to weigh, how much this is going to pay. For today, we'll be leaving all of this here. Pods, the whole lot. Because I've overstocked on the pods, so I'll leave them here and see what we get. So we'll be going home empty, empty. Nothing on. Get around to the Weybridge and see what we weigh, I suppose. Emix. Integrated mineral management. Jeez, it's a slush hole today. Well, it did rain last night. It's only expected. Oh, yeah, they got a few pods there. A few busted up ones. Whatever else. Anyway, we'll get around to the Weybridge. Land Rover's still sitting there. No one on the bridge? We must be the only person here. Up we go. They need a scale outside. Okay, we'll go and see what we weigh. Get my tub of lard out of here. I don't think we're 1800 kilos. Point now. Yeah. Four point 
One zero ton. Hmm, take we might be might be pretty close. Look at the old man. Rightio, got to back up over here into the center over there. Get the back line off, strap, unstrap it, and all, and see how we go. It's just muddy old mess over here. It's truth of light. Did bugger it rained last night. We'll get up there and unstrap it. You get up there and might be so mucky then. Get into the centre. Chuck it in low gear. Straight up in there looks good to me. Slow and steady wins the race. Here we go, we're up. Up on the slab. That looks good. Leave it running. Not mucking around in the dirt. All right, that one there's got to come undone. We'll leave this one on because we're going to still drive away. We're leaving the pods like I suggested. And they're willing to take them. Take that off. Can't get that off until such time as they. Oh, I may be able to. Mate, look at that. Get that out of there. Try not to get it in the mud. Elmer Ford mud. Roll it up later. Not too bad back here. Not real exciting undoing straps. Ooh, that's wet. That's very wet. Whatever that was. Just gonna chuck that up there for now. Undo this one. Oh, snaparoo! Definitely tight. I didn't have to actually adjust any of this which is good checked it all nothing's moved bang certainly tight starting to fall off already let's hope that phone don't ring I won't be answering if it does There, that one to there. That's that one out. Get the gloves on. Hands are sore at the moment. So I've got to protect my old hands. Oh, don't you get caught. Oh, yeah, we'll get the gloves on. Slushy slush. Should be able to leave that open for now. Alright, get rid of this stuff here. Oh, look at that stainless thing. Looks like stainless. It does, it looks very stainlessly. Let's see if I can lift that off. Oh, there we go. That wasn't that heavy. Oh, 
Well, that's got a bit of weight in it. <coughs> this has got a bit of weight. This is the one we've done all the motors and stuff in it. It's on the ground. It's up here, that's good enough. Oh, truth. Here's our strap. That like that. Just trying to make room at home. We're um, we've got a few changes coming, so we're getting getting prepared for stuff that we'll be doing. Jeez, this is going to be heavy, this one. Had to lift this one on with the front end loader. Playing O. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. That's down there. And we are off. Get the pods unloaded, and we'll be good. Should be on the road. Handy making it quick and simple here. Ah, uh, we better grab that down from up there. Pull that through. Chuck that on the floor. Our next video for um, the scrap, scrap yard here will be a good one. We'll be bringing in copper, domestic aluminium, incise, all that stuff that we've still got sitting at home. So let's go and get these pods unloaded. You gotta move. Today, are we? Hey, what's that? We're keeping the IBCs today. Are you we? are certainly doing that. Yeah. Tell me when. That do? Yeah. Yeah, I got plenty at home. Keeping the pieces of steel though. I'm gonna get back to this. Keep my straps into play so they don't come loose. He's just gonna put it over there and he'll lift it up later. That's all I do, put a strap over it. You can chuck them around, they don't come loose. Better grab me pieces of steel, that's all. Really into it this time. Certainly knows how to drive. Give him that. Anyway, grab our pieces of steel. Let's just keep it all level. Chuck them in there. Go around to the way bridge. Go and find out what what we're going to weigh with a bit of mud. 
2.18 Finally made it home uh, This is a different look um, We will be taking that over In our next run Hopefully we might do another scrap run this week It all depends on how we all go This shade cloth's coming down G'day Gardy, how you going boy? Um, now what we will be taking in the next lot Will be those There's, I do know there's roughly around 1700 kilos so all of that just that will go basically on the white ute then we've got a tub of um, IBC tub of domestic aluminium now I was there when I was there today I asked them about all these aluminium crowns that you get in the aluminium motors and that sort of thing I thought well I better ask about them because I remember one time I was over there and um, yeah they said we'll just put it in with the domestic aluminium they class this stuff as domestic aluminium so we've got that full tub there it doesn't look nice and clean but that's what they put it as anyway um then we've got the extruded aluminium down over here haven't got around to fixing the ladder i've been very very busy may get around to fix it as you can see it's not a real straight ladder but it's only a matter of heat it up bend it back um so we've got some cast alloy here we won't be taking uh the gas bottles over because apparently they're no more than two mil they will go i could have took it over today and put it with the pressing steel apparently it goes as pressing steel but i think i've got some other stuff in there like um these heavy weights and that sort of thing that go as hms but I, they said give it a measure even with the slag on there and now uh, yeah we'll, we'll see what they can do but that'll go as hms because anything up to three mil they said or well, three mil and above it'll go as hms it may go as hms you know it's fairly thick. Yeah, may that one will. I know that black one will. Um, we've got this stripped out wire here. We've got a little bit more to go. Bright and shiny. I think that's nearly nearly 12 bucks a kilo that. So there's a fair bit of weight in that. Um, then we've got up here all of our other wire. Sorry about the lighting. Um, don't know how much is in that in weight wise. We've got the insulator wire here. We've got another another wheelie bin of that coming out over here. This one over here is chocker block full. Move our tubs off there. Right down to there. It's easy, chocker block full. That'll be going in the next run. Uh, we've got um, this stuff here. It's got a lot of, might be, might, it might go as uh, ballast and stuff like that. Uh, then we've got our clean stainless here. All this stuff that I'm mentioning now will be going in the next lot. That's kind of clean stainless. Then we've got that's go that'll go as 316 stainless. Uh, then we go to 304 stainless, which they class as the dirty stainless. I'm actually uh, going to be going today, and uh, won't get it on camera. Getting some more batteries. I'm going to go to the truck depot and pick them up and that sort of thing. I'll take those brass posts off there and uh well hang on to those i might need them myself so we might have a fair, fair few batteries and that sort of thing in the mist um so also back around the corner over here oh shoot uh we've got our brass in here june likes the symbol so i might hang on to the symbol itself uh might even think about might got our circuit boards down here too might even take that goes to a different scrapyard they do uh then in the dark corner back here we've got copper alley radiators uh, and then we've got uh complete aluminium radiators right there they're out of fridges and that's what they're in your freezer compartment i've got a complete copper one down there too so anyway um that's for this one well that's going to be for the next one i should say because we've got nothing else to do here i've only got probably Oh, this washing machine here to do a test on the tub tub clean i got down to that yesterday and uh yeah i didn't get around to it this one here just needs a door seal i might have mentioned that in one other video and that sort of thing so it just needs a door seal i've been through and tested every cycle on bonza it's all good and ready to go just got to take the door seal out have the part in my hand and duplicate it from a picture in it what i'm ordering so anyway let's get down to formalities on how much we got and how in weight and how much we're going to get paid 
Right, so we took in 1920 kilos. That's a little bit more than my 1800 kilos that I was expecting. Um, I've never actually gone over and actually taken, bring, brought nothing back. Like I've always brought back IBCs or something like that. So the actual weight of the vehicle is 21880. Um, bone dry, stock, nothing on it. Tank of fuel, all that sort of thing. That was in there. Uh, 28 and I think you'd put that down as 28.5 cents, 285 cents. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, by the time they do all their waste levies and stuff like that, I come home with a total of $474.28. Now, that $474.28 works out to be 24 with two two that's point two four seven cents i'll put it that way um to get, get that exact amount of the total there so that's not too bad like i think it was only four i think it was only two weeks ago i went over so that's not too bad for a two week stint um we are in the midst of cleaning up around the shed and that sort of thing so stay tuned for the next scrap run um, it's going to be a doozy, I tell you what. I reckon we'll be getting probably, my guess, with what we're going to take over and that sort of thing, probably close to three grand. And I reckon maybe, it may be close to three tonne. So it's almost like a dollar a kilo. But anyway, um, if you've come this far, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So till next time, everyone, happy dumpster mining, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.